Hi guys, um, today is the 27th of April, it's my mom's birthday and also me and Hubby <laughs> Me and Hubby are going out for breakfast because we need to have like a planning session So we're going to a nice um, parking cafe here around our area and we're just gonna sit there I have a notebook with me and I have a pen and we're just gonna sit there and just you know evaluate or review things what needs to be done and whatnot as much as we have like a standing document that has like a checklist on the budget we just want to go through what has been done now and what's pending but most importantly i am wearing my wedding shoes today because i need to figure out if they are comfortable like if it's a maestro you know sometimes you're wearing shoes and they you guys you, you girls you know what i'm talking about especially those mr price heels yeah, so I'm wearing my shoes today to figure out if they are comfortable and they are walkable. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah. I'm not going to show a lot of the branch because later on today, I've invited Jennifer and Gilead to join me. I'm going to do our wedding gift registry, which is one of the things we're going to discuss. Personally, I don't like vouchers because I feel like there's a lack of thought in a voucher. But people also make a great argument to say that a voucher allows you to buy the things that you need. But my thing is... Uh -uh. I, I, I want you to put an effort into the gifts that you buy me. And one thing about me, I am good with purposing things. And sometimes I don't know what I need until you get it for me. So we're going to work on my gift registry. I'm going to do the gift registry and go at home. So Jennifer and Kirsten are going to come along with me to just help me pick out um, a few things. Zezzy over here has not said anything about what he wants as a gift. So as far as because I'm going to choose homely things, you know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see so many things like your cat not get long. I'm like negatively, negatively. Things like blenders, toasters, waffle makers, um, cutleries, um, whole like bedware. Was it called bedway? Yeah, like bed things, nice towels, home vibes. So I don't know what he wants for home vibes, but we'll see. So yeah, maybe you guys enjoying this series. I know the vlogs are not the usual vlogs. But I really hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> it's so funny that I'm recording it now in April and you're only gonna see probably in September or October. But anyway, guys, Sana, let's go have breakfast and a review session. Married me, Mara. Don't be mad. Ne? Let me tell you what happened. What had happened was, Abby and I went out for brunch, right? And not brunch, breakfast. And now I have to drive to the mall to get to do the gift registry thing. So we had our discussion and it was good, very productive. I think. Wait. Yeah, not I think. Uh, I know that this was. Actually, our very first time in our marriage that we sat down to discuss things things so thoroughly. And after discussing the wedding things, we just obviously just dive into other life things. Because the wedding is just to celebrate our marriage. Um, if it's your first time popping into my video, I've been with my husband since 2021, August. And we got... Um, got engaged married 20 21 so five months into our relationship we got married would i advise you to do that <laughs> never but that's what we did and it's been a beautiful journey anyway i'm going to 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 meet jennifer at the mall uh, my uh and Kenneth is running late okay let's if you watch this video one day me and you are gonna have a physical fight not promoting violence 
<laughs> Ish, guys. Um, also, I realized that I actually never showed you guys the shoes um, properly, but I will do a small ayana. It's not even a haul. I'm just going to show you the shoes. And yeah, I'm just going to show you the shoes that I, I bought for the wedding. I bought one pair and I needed to check if it's like, yeah, barrera. Is it nice? Like, easy on the front leg. And from the few hours that I wore that shoe today, it was good. And yeah, they were really good. Very comfortable shoes. Definitely can dance around in them. But like any other new shoe, it's a little bit uncomfortable. But it's not a discomfort. It's like it's eating away your skin. It's just the discomfort that it's a new shoe needs to be cracked into. But yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys. I arrived at the mall. Let me tell you, the parking is crazy. And I feel like I got him up all the way. I feel like I got him. Okay. <laughs> I had to go touch it because if it's vibrating, it meant the thing is on. I'm so late. Jennifer's gonna be so mad because she doesn't like late comments. But at the same time, what is this traffic? What are people in Sanchuan? What money? Yo, oh, people here have money. They're always here. Um, today is the 14th of May and I am meeting with my designer for my main dress. So initially like from 2021 when we knew we were getting married and we are going to have a wedding at some point, the initial plan was to wear a modern tradition dress and then a Sibeli tradition. Um, but then when we announced the wedding now and you know my mom was like no you need to wear a white gown. Wada, wada, da, 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 da. And my sister was like, I mean, it's not going to kill you if you can just wear the dress. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll do the dress. But now that, like, the wedding in preps are, like, in full mode and all that, I feel it's important that I actually give myself what I want because it's my wedding and I'm not going to have another wedding. I'm never going to have another wedding. God forbid, should my partner and I get divorced, in my Celtic Aspedi, Mosadi Yatu will write to so Bagasi, like I can never remarry basically, like traditionally, once or not. Anyway, so I, I thought to myself, a wedding is so much, like it's so deep, like it looks like when you're starting, but when you get into it and you immerse yourself in it, you realize sorry, it's never gonna happen again, and I need to give myself what I want. So the dress is going to be white. It's going to be cream. I'm going for cream. It's going to be, it's going to give me and my mom what we both want. She wants a white gown. I want a elegant dress. So my mom and I are both going to get what we want, but we're going to get it in my version. <laughs> yeah. And I realized that the last time I said, I'm going to show you the shoes. I didn't show you the shoes because after, when we came back from brunch, I had ran to do the gift registry. And then when I came back, I was tired my siblings were here so we didn't i didn't have time but anyway 
i'm gonna show you guys the dress and then we are gonna leave i'm going to this designer with my friend mimi um today is a tuesday so my sisters are at work and also i didn't want to go alone um i mean the dress i'm gonna get the dress as i wanted but i wanted someone else just to be there with me for moral support and i thought i can take my friend mimi along and yeah you know so these are the shoes that i got from Shein. i will link the shoes in the description box review of the shoes they are so comfortable i wore the shoes the entire morning they're so comfortable it felt like i'm wearing flat pumps These are the shoes now let me turn the camera so we can all see them nicely I got the shoes in those are the shoes and just the cheesy present that I am I had actually bought these stickers but they are not going to work with Sorry, they're not going to work with this shoe because the shoe is black. Come apart, and leave this one. And this thing is also black. So the idea was to put the I do, me too, under the shoes. But I will see because these are my traditional. I'm going to wear them when I'm wearing my Speedy Regular. Also, I did meet the Lady Vasipedi in April, but I didn't film that because I was tired. We were coming from another trip, so we made it a two-in-one. But I'll show you guys when the dress gets here, which is on the second week or first week of June. When the dress gets here, I will do a try-on. Will I show you the full dress? La <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. So I'm going to wear this guys, baby. I need to buy the ones, uh, the dress I'm going to have done today on Shein. But I'm waiting to pay a few other wedding expenses before I check out my shoe in CAD. Also, we will talk about the whole wedding planning. What, what, but okay, let me just share now. Why the wait? Let me just share now. From planning the wedding, like in the background, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a planner. I think I'm a good planner. I have a whole spreadsheet of the budget. I have a whole spreadsheet of activity, like of. 12 months before, 9 months before, 12, 3 months, like schedule of activities on how things are going to get done and, you know, which things are going to get paid first and what or not. And I I find joy and I find peace when I look at that spreadsheet because sometimes people make me feel like I don't have time, like I need to rush through things. But when I look at my spreadsheet, I'm just like, I have time. Because the honest truth is, as much as the wedding is mine, it's for everyone else. It's the community's wedding, right? And everyone is going to want to chip in and support me in the best way they know how. But sometimes the way they want to support me is not how I need to be supported. Hence, I have my spreadsheet. And also, I bought a journal. I'm, like, I'm looking. I bought a journal. I bought this journal when we decided we we're going to have a wedding, which was last year, April. I bought this journal. And this is where I write all my raw, real feelings. This is where I write also some of my prayers and, you know, just letting uh, letting my feelings out. Because sometimes I feel like, like I say, people are going to support me the way they can and not the way that I need to be supported. So, and I, need, I can't hold that over the head. So I write all my frustrations, all my fears and what's or not. I write them in here and then I leave it to God and I have my spreadsheet to update me on payment and um activities i do have to say however that when it comes to the money part of wedding planning <laughs> you know what if there was ever a time in my life where i've lived the 
god will provide this is the like i've always thought i i lived god will provide in this era the amount of money that is needed only god can provide that money and i know someone is going to be tempted to say you should have done something small no no i'm only gonna get married once this is my only wedding and i want to celebrate it the way the way my partner and i are gonna look back and be like yeah we did a thing we did a thing i really wanna enjoy my wedding day and i'm waiting to make guys i speak at we but you know we i speak at the i but my husband included like you know anyway so i want to look back and be like yeah no we did a thing we did a thing so when it comes to the money part of wedding um, planning there are so many advices on save so much money before the wedding save so much money during the wedding like do what works for you and yeah do what works for you and sometimes um hearing our grace is not the same and sometimes our finances are not the same and the structure is not the same there is a particular way that i would have loved for us to plan to pay for the wedding but there is a way that life is deciding that no that way is not mm -mm, it's, it's not the way we want so getting planning a wedding has also gotten me too much in my prayer warrior era because there are so many things going on, so many puzzles. There are families, there are my in-laws, there are my family, there are my friends. Like, who wouldn't see? But, and the only thing that I know how to do is to pray. So, I mean, I'm always on my knees. I'm, I'm randomly speaking on the road. And <laughs> it's overwhelming, guys. In no matter I'm not good with giving testimonies, but... You know when when God says, "I think it's a Matthew verse, or whatever." Yeah, I think we plan on honestly. Like, I think we plan on it. Yeah, I think we plan on it. Yeah, I think we plan on it. Yeah, I think we plan it's a God thing and it's a surrender. Yeah, like, I think we plan on it. Yeah, I think we plan on it. Yeah, I want we plan I want to do things. I want to pay like this. I want to people to behave like mm, when he married no 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 see suzy take me take me so yeah it's it's a journey and a half but above all things i am grateful for the family that i have i'm grateful for the friends that i have because their support is what is holding me together and Humanity, knowing that even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking of other things. People in the background are busy with like the bridesmaids, with finding quotation for trailers and whatnot. Like people are busy doing the best they can. They're assisting the best way they can. Not everything is falling on my my shoulders. You have been speaking for six minutes, but yeah, guys, I just thought let me just check in. I think what I wanted to say, like in a nutshell, with everything that I've said, planning a wedding has required that I surrender all that i know and that i lean not on my own understanding but on god and i need to realize that it, my marriage is not my own this is not a me thing you know how we say walk well, like you have three thousand ancestors behind you when you're planning a wedding you will realize you have three million ancestors and they all want to shine <laughs> They all want to shine. And you know what? I'm here for it. I love it. I love it. And I love what this whole process has done for my relationship with God and what it has done for me and my husband. Because if we've ever been in love, right now, we are on fire. We are on fire. <laughs> but yeah, guys, let's go get measurements done. <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So we are 
are done with the measurements. We are almost we are already home, so we're going out for brunch. Now, how do you feel being the selected friend to Yo, come? And I think we figured out a way. We figured out a way to hang out. Wedding responsibilities. Thank you. <laughs> we figured out a way. Yeah, we like otherwise have one na ako, have one Space. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ukana, the, Ukana, you must travel. You must buy a gift. You must buy outfits. You know everything. Oh. You must look good. You must bring a plus one. Okay, plus one. Guys, now you understand why people wanna bring plus ones to my wedding. Oh, oh, it's a wedding. What Especially if I don't know your plus one. Why do I have to go in? Hello, hello. You must have one. I want to be your man. You must have one. You must have one. You must have one. You must have She's taking me to a place I've never been. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Uh, you guys are gonna place. love it and also visit. It's a you love it's it. So nice. Is it affordable? Probably we're on yeah, a tight no, budget. The is, budget is tighter than is. my jeans. <laughs> it's very but it's, it is because Luna Mahwana like bad hola. And the African portions. And yes. That's what I like about it. I want to learn in other movies. Unless we're not like concerned, eh? Baba, you know this place. Is it this? Oh, wait. Patong. The amount of times that we pass here. Rose gold. So this one is yellow. yellow. That's the rose gold. Let me see. No, I like this. The rose gold one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, rose gold. September. Yeah, 20 I mean something. September. Yeah. 27. Yeah.